Keeping the rave alive. Yo, this is Scott Brown, and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive with Katsuki. This is Extreme. Hey, Katsuki, thanks for keeping the rave alive. Hey, yo. Hey, guys, it's Outbreak, and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive, hosted by Katsuki. <laughs> Welcome back to Keeping the Rave Alive with myself, Kutsky. 360 degrees of the harder styles of dance music is what we represent on this show each and every week. And I've got a fun show for you, which I hope you're going to enjoy this week. A bit of a themed show. So you all know that my two loves in life are video games and music. Uh, aside from my wife and kids, of course. Got to put them top of the list. But I do love rave music and video games. I have done my entire life. Recently, I have been merging my two passions a little bit and doing some video game music right and sound design for games as well, something that interests me, it has done for a long time. And this week I'm actually starting my master's degree in sound design for video games, always with a thirst for knowledge. And I'm not the only one in the music scene that loves video games as well, because there's so many tracks within just the hard dance scene alone that are subtle nods to some classic video games, some more modern video games, or just taking the sounds and the general vibes of those games. So I thought it'd be very topical this week to put together a mix for you full of my favourite tracks across the full spectrum of the harder styles of dance music that do share these influences. Just before we get into the mix, as always, I want to thank everybody supporting me over on Patreon. Greatly appreciate that. Patreon.com slash KTRA. The link is always in the description of the show. If you do enjoy the Keeping the Rave Alive show, you would like more shows and support me at the same time, you can do so from as little as £2 a month and get a bunch of extra shows each and every week in your life. Right, okay, into the mix this week. Like I said, we're going to represent the full spectrum of the harder styles of dance music, starting off with a Hardwell track, which you can hear coming in the background now. And we're going to go right through. I think the most extreme we get is almost 300 BPM Terracore, all contributing to our theme this week. There's some obvious ones. There's some deep cuts. I'll chirp in every now and again in the mix um, and give you a little quiz of what you've just heard, what games you've heard represented. Even if you're not interested in video games in the slightest, there's so many amazing bangers in here that I know you're going to love. So right about now, we jump into the mix with video game themed hard dance with myself, Kutsky, here on Keeping the Rave Alive. Let's do it. It's DJ Kutsky in the mix. <laughs> stands for program and control he's program and control man the whole thing is a metaphor all he can do is consume he's pursued by demons that are probably just in his own head and even if he does manage to escape by slipping out one side of the maze what happens he comes right back in the other side people think it's a happy game well it's not a happy game but luckily Pac-Man didn't affect us as kids. Otherwise, we'd be running around in dark rooms, munching pills, and listening to repetitive electronic music. <laughs>
Okay, I'm guessing most of you recognise that one as being from Super Mario Brothers. That was the Organ Donors remix. The track coming up in the background next, I couldn't have told you where it comes from because I've never actually played any of the Kingdom Hearts games. But my good friend Chris, Lucky Rabbit, has, and she loves them so much that she remixed the track Face My Fears from the series. It's coming up now.
concussion, bone breaking. Bone crushing, bone breaking. As I get into bone crushing, bone breaking. Bone crushing, bone breaking. As I get into to be specific, I'm coming through with you jitsu. Bone crushing, bone breaking. As I get into scorpion style with the speed of a cheetah. Hit your pressure points with light skills. I'll be the blaster. Fight!
listening to Keeping the Rave Alive with Gusky. Yeah, shout out to Headhunters on this one in the background, Dragonborn from Skyrim. And a big shout out to Willem, Headhunters, I'm sure many of you have seen, um, has decided to take a step back from playing live shows at the end of this year. Still going to be busy in the studio, hopefully he'll make a return behind the decks in the future. But of course, we wish him all the best and hope he has some amazing times in the studio going ahead. Can't wait to hit the new music. Keeping the rave alive. Kutsky.
this one in the background, my wife would be able to tell you what this is from. Luigi's Mansion, they're her favourite game, she loves them. Michael Faze and Void on the remix for that one. The track coming in in the background now, a Zombie Nation remix. You might be thinking, how Zombie Nation related to video games? Did you know that the melody in this actually comes from a Commodore 64 game called Lazy Jones? Check it out, it's on YouTube if you don't believe me. DJ Kutsky, beat stronger than Kryptonite.
Keeping the Rave Alive Radio. You've just heard Gregor Ladal with Dr. Ladal's Castle. Of course, that one taking the melody from the Mega Man series, Dr. Wily's Castle. That's actually probably one of my favourite pieces of video game music. For the NES, it was amazing what they could do with such limited hardware in the time, but it really captured that rock metal vibe. So yeah, I love it. Awesome stuff. Hi, this is Dilly Tech, and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive with Kutsky. This game has become an overnight phenomenon. Players are reported to have been seen drifting into a trance-like state and then uncontrollably raving into the early hours of the morning. No one can explain this but early research shows that the music is to blame. We have found out that this music is called Hardcore. Official has now ordered the removal of the game and is trying to ban all forms of hardcore and raves. An unnamed spokesperson for the game has said, if Pac-Man had affected us as kids, we'd now be all running around in dark rooms, munching magic pills, and listening to repetitive electronic music. Electronic music. Electronic music. Electronic music. Listening to repetitive electronic music. Electronic music. Electronic music. Electronic music. Zob Boot Can. Totally horrified at the devastating effect this hardcore music could have. 
In the background, Youthion with Zelda, of course. I think a lot of people would have got that one, as they would the track before it, Top Vibe and Psy with Pac-Man. And before that, Searle teaming up with Ozcore, Rest in Peace with Green Hills. Of course, taking influence from the Sonic the Hedgehog series. Love that track as well. But now let's get into the rougher stuff with Mad Dog and Amnesis. This is Game Over. Hey guys, it's DJ Anime and this is Kuski. Keep it the way back. Freedom and democracy. Our guest tonight takes a contrarian view. He sees the internet as an instrumentality used by repressive regimes to crack down on dissidents. So, what is this internet? Is it a techno-utopia? Or is it a digital dictatorship? Get ready. 
Final boss. 
Yes, the track in the background now, a new one from myself and Death Punch teaming up, name to be confirmed on this one. It's going to be coming out shortly on the Keeping the Rave Alive label, of course, leaning heavily on the classic 90s racing series Ridge Race. There was a track on there that we both loved, entitled Rotterdam Nation, that was the inspiration for that track. Everyone is dead. Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul will be mine. As we move into the rougher stuff now, Deadly Guns, of course, a huge fan of video game culture as well. This one leaning on the first person shooter Doom with a track BFG. Keeping the rave alive.
mentioned there were going to be some deeper cuts in this mix. I wonder how many recognize which game this in the background is from. Dr. Peacock and Stormtroop with A500 rebooted, taking influence from Turrican on the Amiga. I used to absolutely love that game, not heard it for a long time, so yeah, that's a great track. Will you see it? Our Lord tearing his truth into the unbelievers. This one, again, another Deadly Guns track, teaming up with another video game fanatic, F Noise, with a track Unbelievers. I covered this one on my TikTok sample series recently. Actually, from Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Awesome game and an even better track. Keep the motherfucking, motherfucking hard, hard, you things were going to get brutal did i not at the start clocking in at 296 beats per minute with the super trash bros and the battle uh, i think we all need to take a, a deep breath after that Oh, 
Okay, I think we all need to draw breath after that, don't we? One last track, slightly more down tempo. In fact, it's nearly half the speed and it still sounds fast compared to any normal dance music. Taking influence from the Final Fantasy series, this one released back in the mid 90s, the B side to a track that I used to play all the time. This is Blunted with Fantasy. And just before we let it run, as always, I'd like to just take a moment to thank everybody that's been supporting me with the virtual beers this week. That's the tip system on the show. You know the score by now. Um, if you enjoyed the show and you would like to support me, Patreon's a great way to do it if you would like to support me monthly. But there's also the virtual beers if you're just thinking, you know what, you've done a good job this week, Klutzky. I'd buy you a beer. You can do so virtually for £3. Gives the opportunity to leave a name and your message. And I can read that out at the end of next week's show and show you a little bit of love in return. That's over on the the website beer.keepingtheravealive.com. I'll drop the link in the description, but I want to give a quick shout out to Chuckle Bro, who says, long term listener here, been with you since episode one. It's got me through many a bike ride and run over the years. So thank you very much, Chuckle Bro. Appreciate that one. Uh, and glad that the music's keeping you healthy as well. Shout out to Hallucinate as well, regular supporter of mine. Appreciate that. No message, but a beer as well as Lisa B, who did exactly the same. And a big shout out to Blow Up Dave, bought me some beer saying hi mate hope all is well i've also just dropped you an email with an interesting sample mania suggestion would love to hear your thoughts so i'm off to check out dave's suggestion for sample mania maybe we can feature it on next week's show and right about now we let this old school classic run it's blunted with fantasy i'll catch you back on the show same time same place next week until then it's kutsky signing out keeping the rave alive now this has to be dj kutsky taking you back to the old school all right